Radio-labeled substances are commonly used for the measurement of kidney function. The historical and traditional marker for the first clearance studies performed by Homer Smith in 1951 was inulin. He developed the classical inulin clearance based on an infusion method. The result for the clearance was infusion rate divided by plasma concentration. Unfortunately, inulin as well as sinistrine and inulin like polyfructosan are no longer available. However, the classical approach to GFR measurement can also be performed by the use of iothalamate or iohexol, which are iodine contrast mediums regularly used in radiology. Besides the classical clearance measurement with constant infusion of the marker, modern computer programs allow the determination of GFR based on a single injection of the substance. The determination of GFR is based on a two-compartment model, which is the basic model of pharmacokinetics. This model, representing the human body, consists of a central, well-perfused, and a peripheral, less perfused volume. After injection of the marker, it distributes between the two compartments before it is eliminated. The parameters used in this model are estimated by fitting a set of two coupled differential equations to the observed concentration profile. After injection of the marker, e.g. iohexol, blood samples of 2 ml are drawn at certain time points. In case of impaired renal function, it is necessary to increase the time horizon for a test in order to produce reliable GFR results. This single inject method has several advantages. Besides precise results for GFR, it also gives estimates for the central and peripheral volume of the subject. Further, GFR determination based on this model also allows for the dynamic evaluation of renal function. The following figure shows the temporal profile of observed concentrations of sinistrine after an intravenous bolus of 2,500 mg sinistrine in a healthy subject. The model adapted concentration of sinistrine is given by the smooth line. The analysis of agreement demonstrated as classical linear regression and blunt altman analysis between a measured GFR performed with inulin and each GFR according to the CKD epi formula revealed the following results. In patients with poor renal function, that means GFR below 60 ml per minute, a reasonable agreement of MGFR and eGFR was observed. Subjects with normal or mildly impaired renal function show an underestimation of GFR based on the formula compared with the measured GFR.